One last bolt and we are done. What? Not again. Hello my friends and welcome to SideQuest Friday, a series where I'm gonna build random things that no one asked for. In today's episode we are gonna take an emergency box and a 10 mil and we are gonna... After doing all the complicated math required for this project, I jumped into Fusion and started the new design. It's just a box, what did you expect? Anyways, I got everything printed with a 0.4 nozzle for better print quality. And after some test fitting, I got everything prepped for painting. And after a couple of layers of primer, we are ready to apply this traffic red paint. <laughs> Bruh. With the red paint applied, I wanted to make sure all the letters are visible, so I painted them by hand in white. With the case done, it's time to get to the next step. But first, we need to unbox this bad boy. Saint Smart was kind enough to send me one of their desktop CNC routers for review. This is Kubico and is one of the best CNC machines for beginners. The first thing that you see when you open the box are the instructions. Yeah, we are not gonna need this. I have to say the packing was top notch, nothing is getting damaged in there. After pulling the machine out, the first thing I noticed is that it comes completely pre-assembled. Which is a big plus for me because I have zero experience with CNC machines. Anyways, in the package we have a power cable, a USB cable to connect the machine straight to your computer. But this thing also has Wi-Fi and multiple SD slots, so you don't really need a laptop next to it all the time. In the package you also get some anti-vibration paddings for the bottom of the machine. There's also some stock for your first cut. This is some sort of plywood and also acrylic. Next up we have a small toolbox with all the accessories needed. You get some extra switches, a probe, some stock holder, a micro SD card, a micro SD USB reader and an Allen key. You also get some copper plates. I think these are great for making prototype PCBs. You also get two wrenches for the collet, which are surprisingly the good type of wrenches, the quality ones. As for the bits that come with the machine, you get 7 20 degrees V bits for engraving and 3 small drill bits. Now let's plug the machine and make our first cuts. Well, now that we have our machine all set, it's time to make our first cut. But first, let's do some research. Oh my. I know what's wrong, too much milk, guys. <laughs> The CNC said, nope, I'm not doing this shit. <laughs> Again with the milk. There's too much milk, obviously. So I realized the main cause of all the problems when it comes to CNC milling and engraving is obviously the milk. So I'm not using it. After that conclusion, I installed the bit and I started testing the machine. I was pleasantly surprised of how accurate and clean everything came out. Obviously, I had to engrave my name on something. Anyways, back to our project. I slapped a piece of acrylic inside the machine and I started engraving. And this is what I ended up with. Extremely clean cuts. Even though my 3D printed engines are already pretty reliable, this machine is gonna help me take them to the next level. If you wanna check out Kubico, you have a link in the video description. Thank you again to Saint Smart for sending me this machine. So I got the acrylic installed on the swinging door and I also installed these two magnets that are gonna hold the 10mm socket in place. After finishing with the box, it's time to cut some EVA foam for the backing. What? This is the very last piece of EVA foam I got. So I cut it to length, placed it inside the box. I cut a slot for the socket and this is what I ended up with. Now that we are all done with this thing, it's time to put it where it belongs. I'm just playing, I actually got it a really easy to access spot. Well, that's it for this week's episode. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. It's there. It's right there. It's right there.